Hey, Lloyd here. And if you're looking for some answers on self-image and self-esteem and how it shapes our lives, then I am glad you found this video. And I strongly suggest that you keep listening to it and learn how to build confidence and destroy fear. Because this is my uncensored self-image and self-esteem story. It's the ups and downs why researchers show that most people suffer from the lack of or very low healthy self-development and what has helped me achieve my personal development in this particular area. You can also go to http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash capital P on peak and capital C on confidence. Research shows that four in every five people report that hey, they have suffered or currently suffer from low or diminished self-esteem. Often this is event related. For instance, self-esteem can diminish when we are faced with a situation where emotions are heightened. It is said that by the time we reach the age of three, 50 percent of what we believe about ourselves has been formed. And by age six, it is 60 percent. And by nine, it's around 80 percent. By the time we reach the age of 12, up to 90% of us have a well-developed sense of who we are and what we believe ourselves to be. Self-esteem, that's having a favorable impression of oneself, is a basic human need. It's a measure of our self-acceptance and also indispensable to normal and healthy self-development. The experience of being competent to cope with the day-to-day -day challenges of life and being worthy of happiness is a simple measure of our self-esteem and a basic element in the health of every human being. All of us have the ability to at any time recreate and rebuild our self-esteem so that it better serves us. I think our self-image is an automatic and inevitable consequence of what we choose to believe. It is a reflection of our reactions to past events and experiences. However, those experiences have not made us the way we are. They have made us believe that's the way we are. Ultimately, however, we have the power to decide what we will believe about ourselves, and therefore we should not accept self-limiting beliefs imposed on us by others. Life has conditioned us to respond to things in certain ways, and our responses have led to certain choices. Many people are unaware of why they respond to things as they do and that their choices are automatic. Have you ever examined the beliefs you hold? I feel our self-esteem is all about how we feel, our emotions. Our emotions are triggered by our thoughts and they are the key to personal effectiveness. They prescribe the way we act and react in life. However, we can change our actions and reactions by changing the way we link our beliefs and emotions. People with low self-esteem tend to react to events and circumstances. However, this inevitably leads to a life of impoverishment and lost opportunity. People with high self-esteem instead choose to respond and strive to create a life of action. Often when faced with a new challenge, we can become frozen by fear. And fear is simply a thought, mostly an irrational thought. Therefore, when we examine and identify our self-limiting beliefs and understand the impact they have, we have the opportunity to create new possibilities. Our future life swings on the doors we open and the doors we close every day. To live more effectively and to make our way more successfully in this world, we should seek to align our thoughts, our emotions, and our actions. One important way we can achieve alignment is to let go of past mistakes. Mistakes are as part of life as breathing is, and I speak as someone who has made more than my share. When we make a mistake, we tend to blame ourselves. However, Another more empowering way to relate to and resolve our mistakes is to acknowledge them and see them as learning opportunities, internalize the lessons they hold, and then to move forward. 
this is one of the things that separates winners from the losers. Action. Action is the real key to making it big in this world full of dreamers building their sand castles in the air. But the true rewards come only to those who actually do something, not talk about doing something. So will you take advantage of this opportunity now and receive the peak confidence system? The choice would be simple for anyone. How about you? If you'll click on the link underneath this YouTube video or if you'll go to http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash capital P on peak capital C on confidence. I'm sure that you will look at life with great anticipation.